So, y'all know, I've experienced quite a few things. I went from hiking on the trail to motorcycle camping and all kind of other adventures in my life. And now I'm getting ready to start a new adventure and a new career in trucking. How does a biker plan on doing trucking? Hmm. So, you know, I'm looking at this like, because this is a no experience. You always got to have no experiences. That's the way you learn new things. That's the way you make mistakes. You know, you always learn from your mistakes. Or somebody's going to ding me. Huh? So, I'm thinking, you know, you got a refrigerator and microwave. That's more than what you got on the trail. A lot of times that's more than what you got when you motorcycle camp. So, you know, I do a lot of dry foods and stuff that's sustainable over long times, long periods. So, what we're going to be doing, the show's probably going to be me cooking in the truck. You know, you can drive 11 hours and you're off 10. So, yeah, that's pretty much how this is going to go. You know, showing you what it's like to stop. And because I can't eat, most truckers say that they eat out all the time. They eat out all the time. Or they'll have sandwiches in their truck. I've got to eat somewhat healthy because of my health. Because of this and that. So let's do, let's just plan on doing, you know, some odds and ends and transferring everything that we do on the motorcycle camping and the hiking over to the truck. And of course, it'll be with your host of the most, Big Daddy Bam Bam. Yeah. So anyway. I don't know when I'm going to be able to put another video up. I'm working on doing a new intro because everybody liked my little video package I put together with the photos where I used to be a photographer. So we will go from there and make us, you know, uh, make us a new entrance and kind of streamline the show as we go. You know, this is a lot of experience too. All those that's here in the beginning, man, I really appreciate it. All the people that sent me stuff. Through Patreon, YouTube, and sent my dog stuff, especially Nikki. Oh God, I love this girl. She's a true zombie chick, but she's always, you know, I used to date her years ago, and she's always stuck beside me. And she sent the doggy some Christmas presents. And I got it on top of the refrigerator. There's got to be something to eat, I'm sure, because he just whippers and whines and is just dying to get his hands on it. But to everybody else that sent me stuff, that sent him stuff, especially the chick that's in the new camera. Uh, I really appreciate it. Y'all are here at the beginning as we grow. You know, we'll try to do something. Maybe try to get some sponsors and do some giveaways or something. You know, because y'all are awesome. So until next time, I will tell you once again, get out there, live a little, laugh a little, love a little. See this big old world. Like and subscribe so you can get a free job. And don't forget... Hit that bell so you can tell when we are.